to see. You're welcome here. There'll Thank be you. no Harry Potter references. None of that nonsense. Nobody will be taking the mickey out of you. You promised me this? No, actually, I cannot promise you that. <laughs> You must hear it all the time with yes. uh, but your hair is a different colour. It is good. The, the hair colour is lost now. We had a last day's filming about a week ago, so no more blonde hair for me. I'm very pleased. Oh no, that. you'll change your you'll change your mind. Really? You yeah, go back to yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, you'll go back to it in your fifties. You think I'm yeah. <laughs> Well, hopefully not. I'm yeah, no, no, you. I, I'm when lucky I get, it's... I'm gonna, I'm gonna. As soon as I get the okay from the network, I'm going blonde. Really? Yeah. You wear it well, I think. I think no, you probably no, wear no. it better than me. I'm, not I'm sure. blonde elsewhere. Oh really? <laughs> Me too. That's really? strange. That's weird. That's bizarre. I know. How does I, that happen? Uh, I think it's genetic. Genetic. Yeah. yeah. Or maybe it's the cold weather in Britain. Britain. I was yeah. going to go for that. Where one. are you yeah, from yeah. in Britain? I'm from Surrey, as you know, South. Surrey. Of, uh, South yes, of London. I, I yeah, know yeah. where that hey, is. You used to live in Islington, right? I did, but I went to rehab in Surrey. Okay. <laughs> I did. Did they treat you well? Where, where was that? Uh, in a, it was a place called Farm Place in Surrey. Right. It was uh, near Gatwick Airport. I live six miles from Gatwick Airport. Were you in rehab with me? Uh, I, I thought I recognised yeah. you. Yeah, no, you would have been very young when I was in rehab. It was 18 years ago. Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay. What, what age are you like? I'm 45 now. 45? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm... Uh, are you done? Is that the, with the Harry Potter then? You're done with that, that now? That is it. It's, no it's more, over? No more Draco. I've said goodbye to him. I don't know, man. They'll, yeah, they'll come back. You think? You. Yeah, Well, there's yeah. already talk of Harry Potter on ice. Yeah. It, yeah. The thing to do, though, is move on. Move on? Move on. Really? Yeah, don't stay I was, there. I was going to write on. some songs for the musical, maybe. No, <laughs> don't do it. What you want to do, here's my pitch to you. Get, uh, uh, be a vampire with feelings. <laughs> That's, That's the where the kids are going now. <laughs> Sensitive vampires that talk. Tootsie Fruitsy. Do that. <laughs> Thanks for the heads up. <laughs> was that, six cuss words tonight? <laughs> You're on a roll. Ah, you know, it's actually light tonight, really, to be honest. Really? I'm, I am trying to cut down. I Good feel call. like I'm being, yeah. Do you I'll, cuss a lot in your I life? I confess, I'm, I'm pretty bad for it. And I always feel bad, like my mum's kind of frowning down on me when, it, when I do so, you know. Yeah, if it's yeah. unnecessary, uh, each time you've used it tonight, you used it in a rather sort of poetic way, I think. Thank you very Not much. Not at all. Uh, 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 very astute young man. No, it's I, yeah, no, it's true. I... Let's, let's face it, they were invented for a reason. They, they are there for a reason. And you exactly displayed that so. beautifully. Yeah. So. Um, do you find that you, you get into any trouble over here with the differences with the language? Is that a problem for you? Do you understand? Because you can say fanny here anytime you like. Yeah, that's a very different meaning in the UK. Of yeah, absolutely. You know, yeah, if, yeah. if you gave a lady a, a tap on the fanny, that would be a whole another set of circumstances. <laughs> as be you awesome. Know. Yeah, yeah, that'd be <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Yeah. We should probably talk about that later, Craig. I'm no, not no, sure. let's talk about it right now. I, uh, have you been doing any uh, fanny chats? <laughs> wow. Um, <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. Have you? No, I uh, don't. No. Hey, you know what? Let me tell you a story. This is true, right? Please. I got in, a, in a, a car in Las Vegas right. to go oh. from one place to another place. Okay. And the guy who was driving the car, or limo driver, said to me, uh, he said, hey, uh, Tom Felton was just in the car. He's uh, Draco in the Harry Potter. I said, I could smell his perfume. <laughs> I could smell perfume in the car, which means I think somebody was either wearing perfume or doing some fanny tapping. What was it? <laughs> He's got me. You've got me. You've well, seen you, the evidence. What can I do? Well, you, you were in Vegas, right? I was in Vegas. And actually, was it the you? same driver, it was me. The same driver used your, he name dropped you as soon as I got in the back of the... Uh... Well, you said he was going to get me next? Yeah. He was like, guess who I'm picking up next. And well, then, like, then did, were you in that car on your own? Because I really smelled perfume. I was not. No. Ah. <laughs> He's done me. I You're was right. in about three or four Playboy bunnies. They were on the way home. With really? Me. No. They were wearing... <laughs> Come on, the, weird, the weirdest thing was, it was like brute or something brute? like that. Yeah. Wow. I, I'm not sure if she's, uh, maybe it's, she's nicked a bit of mine. I'm not no, sure. No, no, no. Do you wear, is that the after, do you wear aftershave? Uh, very little. Yeah, uh, you some tonight. Did you, did yeah, you get a little <laughs> Actually, that's pretty nice. It's not bad, That is, is pretty nice. It's like that cool, I don't even want to plug the brand. Yeah, but yeah no, yeah, but yeah. it's actually very good. Because I, I was going to go over and go and do a joke about it, but actually I'm like, whoa, you're attractive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are we are we bonding here? Is this uh, kind of? I great, think. Great. Yeah, I, I think we are. Are you going to watch the World Cup? You're English. I am, of course. Yeah, 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 I'm, yeah. I'm not the greatest footballer representative. Everyone asks me what team you support. I always say England. I don't have yeah. like a <laughs> subdivision thing. Well, well, here that's enough. Yeah. yeah. Okay, fair enough. No one's going to go. Well, Manchester United or oh, really? Arsenal. You know. Well, all my friends. Yeah. So I got my girlfriend's family. They're all Arsenal, and you know, my boys are United. So yeah. Right. Clash of the Titans and all the rest. Yeah. Of it. No. It's a, do you, you follow any of the American sports? At all? Uh, a little 
I used to be really into basketball. I love my golf. All of a sudden, I golf. Start to yeah. Oh, you see, that's not actually an American sport. It was developed in. Uh... <laughs> Educate me, please. Where is I it? can't remember. Was it England? I, Surrey, I think. Surrey. Yeah. <laughs> no, do you play golf? Uh, shockingly. I swing the clubs, but I, I rarely well, that, No, that's good. That's how you get in with the, the in crowd in Hollywood. You really? play golf. You really? Know, is that yeah. what you do? I don't play it. Have you done but that? No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> look at me. Do I look like I'm in the in crowd? I get I torn so. up paper and a robot skeleton. That's it. <laughs> I thought you were in the in crowd, man. No, Definitely. sir. No, this is... Your publicist has steered you the wrong way. <laughs> really? He really up... bigged you up, seriously. What? He, he really bigged you up. He bigged me up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's so good. Familiar, what is, yeah. Bigged, is, that, is that what the kids are saying? Yeah, Big... that's Oh, I don't know. That's what... Bigged me up. Yeah. It's not a, it's not a sexual It's not like phrase, tapping on the fanny. No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> are, we, are we losing each other in translation or something? No, a little bit. Really I've been here for a long time now. Oh, yeah, of course, man. Yeah, when did you yeah. come out here? 95, I 95, okay. Yeah, I'm yeah. just, uh, this is the first time I've come out here and actually thought that I could, oh, I could genuinely awesome, move out here. It seems awesome. nice, man. And you have dogs, right? Cause I've yeah, yeah, you're allowed to have dogs in America. Uh, many I heard that. <laughs> when was that law changed? Because I thought... Yeah, no, you could have as many as you like. like I've got to ask you then. How did you, was it cool bringing them over? No quarantine? Oh, I got them here. Oh, sorry, excuse yeah, me. Yeah, I've been okay. here for 15 years. Right, many, right, right. many dogs don't <laughs> last <laughs> that long. You said that with a bit of menace in your eye, almost. What are you... Well, uh, I've got a French bulldog that I'm hoping is going to poop out early, but I, uh, <laughs> I don't see it. The ones you don't like live forever. Oh, really? Yeah. So, uh, no, i got three. How many dogs you got? Just the one, but it's one of the first things I got when I moved into my own place. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. What kind of dog? It's a Chesapeake Bay Retriever. Oh, well, Chesapeake Bay's in America. There You'll you be go. able to bring that in, yeah. Yeah, no, no Brits have a clue what that is, but... The, what what, what is it? Is it a large dog, small it's dog? It's basically like a brown Labrador with slightly woolly... Uh, and webbed paws. They're great for swimming. Sounds like a bald one. <laughs> Slightly, maybe? Yeah, not like a major bald one, like one of the minor bald ones. One of the minor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she looks nothing like them, I swear. Oh, right, she okay. has no resemblance to so them. So you, are you worried that not being able to bring your well, dog I didn't know about the, about the rules about well, I don't know. Like I don't know rabies, either. jabs and all sorts. Yeah, I'm trying to, I'm asking you around. I'm well, I think, I think, you know, you've come to the right place. And this is what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't, I don't. I don't know. I think that you're probably some in, you know, uh, shots for the dog. Yeah, and, well, I uh, thought it'd be okay. But someone yeah. told me about six months quarantine. I couldn't do that. I don't no, know that'd you, be bad. Yeah. Did you ever kennel your dogs or anything like that? I'd love to kennel that French bulldog. But, <laughs> uh, the wife would have it. She loves them. Uh, oh really? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. The wife's a woman too. You know, okay. uh, All right. Uh, Is she a menace? With the wife? Yeah. No, 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 no. no, no, no. The dog. The dog. The dog. The bulldog. No, no the dog's fine. The bulldog. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, everybody's great in my eyes. <laughs> no, is your dog men menacing in any Not way? at all. She's, yeah. uh, I actually often What's think... What's your dog's name? Timber. Timber? Timber, or Timberland if she's been bad. Oh, yeah. nice. Timber. That's kind of, you know, what's up? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's kind of gangster play, huh? Hey, Timber and my expensive aftershave. I like got a little puff daddy on me. I like to keep it real, Craig. What can I say about it? Yeah. It's very nice to meet you, young fella. I, Likewise, I, I'm, You know, uh, this is my first ever chat show or first ever show Me chatting. too. Really? Yeah. <laughs> we're doing okay, aren't we? Yeah, we're doing great. Well, I wanted to thank you personally for, uh, yeah, for, I'd, for I'd, breaking I'd, me in. Well, hey. <laughs> <laughs> that looked like... That's, that's like if we went to Britain and I said I tapped you in the fan. I you guess know what so. I picked the wrong phrase. Yeah, didn't you picked I? the wrong phrase. I'm sorry, yeah, man. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. It's, gonna, it's gonna take me a few weeks to pick up. That's the all right. You'll be fine. Good call. Uh, just stay out of West Hollywood for a while. <laughs> That's what my hotel is. Are you serious? Oh, I'm worried now. Yeah, you, you just told everyone where your hotel is. I can number. Yeah. <laughs> Still got a bit of slither in, hasn't yeah. he? Yeah. Tom Felton, everybody, Tom Felton. Tom, Tom, Tom. Tom, thank you very much. Tom, you're great, just great.
Cheers. And I have to say, all right, love. thank you. All right, I uh, the. Uh, I'm sorry for bringing up Slytherin. I could, Not at all. But they always cast you as bad guys. You're always a bad guy. I don't understand it. You're so nice and lovely and with your lovely suit and your smiley face, and then they make you a baddie. Why? I have a lot of built-up rage and anger. I don't, to come out. I don't see that at all with you. You seem perfectly charming. I'm not sure why. It tends to be the trend, but... Um, yeah, I think it's because you're English. British people do do villains. Well, constantly. they do They do it very well. So going, ah, you thought wrong, Inspector. That kind of thing. We do it... <laughs> We do that with a certain certain charm, don't we? Yeah, I suppose. Hey, have you been watching uh, Foil's War? I haven't. That's Call my new in. favorite TV show from Britain. Help me out. What's Foil's War? It's a it's a detective uh, that's set during the Second World War, and right. he's a detective, and he solves crimes during the war. It's amazing. Like a. It's like Downton Abbey and Breaking Bad mixed together. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> There's, there's not a lot of Breaking Bad. Uh, it's, mostly, it's mostly okay. Downton Abbey and a bit of crime solving. It's fantastic, Sounds though. good. I'll dig it. Yeah, I'm yeah, sure. you want to get into it. Are you here now? What I am. That? I've been here. I've been a California resident for five or six months now. Wow. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. It's, uh, you uh, <clears throat> you're looking a bit tan, actually. This, the weather is somewhat better here than yeah. across the pond. It must a little be bit, yeah. So I'm enjoying that, definitely. Now, have you thrown yourself into it, or are you one of these English people that go, oh, Americans have no sense of irony, and walk around and say, oh, you can't get a decent cup of tea here? <laughs> <laughs> no, but my, I just brought my mum uh, back here for the first time in six years, and there was a touch of that about the taxi system and the lack of good tea bags, but I was quick to point out... <laughs> Wait, wait, I'm going with, I'm going somewhere. <laughs> Easy, buddy. Easy. But, <laughs> but the good weather and the beach and the right. nice people turned around to yeah, see yeah. the delight. Listen, you can get a taxi or a tea bag in Los Angeles. You just have to know where to look, that's all. <laughs> Next time, shall I give you a call? Oh, yes, I'm the man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so anyway, he's, he's like, oh, keep going, keep going. Uh, anyway, so, uh, but your mum, has she gone back now? Yeah, she has. She was oh. here for a week. Uh, she did all the tourist sightseeing bits and pieces. What did you do? Because when people visit from the old country here, I'm like, there's a Hollywood sign. I got nothing. Where right. did you take her? Well, I, I struggled a little bit myself. We yeah. took her to Runyon Canyon and to the beach, obviously, up to Malibu. Uh, right. It's a nice spot up there. Um, but she did the open bus tour, which I've never... I've never done that. Me neither. Yeah. I was quite intrigued. And she said, actually, it was very entertaining. So well, lots of the... She mostly said, well, lots of Hollywood famous people have died, which seems to be a key point of the, uh, the, <laughs> the tour. Well, I think that's pretty much it. They, they go on the tour. There's a cemetery where they show films as well, where a lot of uh, Hollywood, famous Hollywood people are buried. Right. Um, I can't remember what it's called. Hollywood Forever, it's called. <laughs> yeah. Because it's forever because they're all dead. You <laughs> <laughs> are you going to be buried here when you die? <sighs> I haven't given it that much thought. <laughs> You? Uh, well, you know. Uh, uh, no. You, would, uh, you, do you, would you fancy that? Well, well, being buried here. Is this your chosen? I don't know. I think I'd like to be stuffed and mounted and then sent out to sea and burned in a Viking boat. <laughs> don't applaud. It makes me feel sad. Oddly uh, enough, that that was that was pretty close to what I was thinking. Well, that's well, okay. So. Perhaps we could do it together. Maybe we could do it together. All right, yeah. <laughs> I'll, I think I'll probably have to wait a bit. I'll have to be stuffed and then wait for you for a while. Okay, well, we can do that. Well, they could put me up in Hollywood Boulevard, or... You can figure out the timing of it. I could host the thing. Emmys or something whilst dead and stuffed. <laughs> <laughs> Je Jeff's uh, been dead for years. Yeah, hell yeah. Done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you're looking for tea bags, man, I'm the guy that... Uh... Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, back to the... Yeah. Yeah. No, like Earl Grey, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, exactly. Are yeah. you a tea snob? A lot of people uh... I am, but nowhere near to the level of some Brits. I know, yeah, uh, I know. there's lots of milk first, tea bag first. I'm a little, the... I'm a little bit like that. Really? Still, yeah, after all, I'm an American citizen. Tell I've me, been then, here for are, you, a year. are you milk, milk first, or then... Milk first, milk yes. Milk first, yeah. Milk first and never a tea bag in the cup, only in the pot. And, and you've got to warm the pot first. See, my mother would beg to differ with that, with that method. She... Well, your mother's wrong, frankly, <laughs> you <tell. laughs> Uh, what, did, what did she say? She would argue bag first. Uh, <laughs> in, the, in the cup? Yes. Well, if you're doing a quick and convenient cup, then yes. Well, but there's lots of that. There was lots of quick and convenient cups. Right. Well, that's no way to make tea. This is nowhere near where I thought we were going to start. This well. <laughs> I 
just didn't want to. I, I mean, I wanted to apologise, I suppose, for mentioning Slytherin when I was, you know. Not at all. But I mean, you must be getting that still all the time. No, but I enjoy it. It's it, honestly, it's a great thing. We were just, I just came back from Calgary, my first time there, and I met. Hundreds of people still calling me Draco and so forth, and it's Canadians a, too. Canadians, yeah, too, yeah, yeah. They were very polite. Um, they, they're, they're that way. They are that way. <laughs> yes, they they took good care of me, and it was uh, yeah. It's nice to see. Amazing that the Harry Potter flame is still burning pretty strong. Oh, I think it's going to be flaming for a while. Right. What the? Uh, <laughs> what, were you, what were you doing in Calgary? Uh, I was there at a uh, doing some publicity at a uh, fan convention. One of the uh, oh, one of the uh, the, the, the things. Yeah, you'll yeah, be yeah. doing that until you're stuffed and mounted on a Viking <laughs> boat. <laughs> That's great, though. Yeah, That's good that you do it. The fans are so loyal to that franchise. They, they really, really are. are. And yeah. I'm, I'm the first to, to remind them that we wouldn't be in the position now if it wasn't for their dedication. So, including yourselves, thank yeah. you very much. All right. I have to say, I think most of this audience is Hufflepuff. Yeah. But, <laughs> but I know where you're going. I can uh, see a few Slytherins. In yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wanna be Slytherins. Uh, <laughs> Which is basically what Hufflepuff <laughs> is. <laughs> I don't know, you know why I know all of this. I have children. Yeah, 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 I do. Actually. <laughs> I have a worryingly encyclopedic knowledge of the Harry Potter series. I read all the books to my, to my oldest boy. What does he, uh, does he have a house preference as far as which, which uh, house? Well, I, yes, I, I think he's, you know, obviously he's very Gryffindor. Right, right, you know. which is a good thing. Yeah, well, it's where you want your kids it to is. grow yeah, up, yeah, really. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But I think my other one's kind of Slytherin. Really? Yeah. <laughs> he's only three, but right. shock of blonde hair, much like you in the film. And uh, He's welcome. If he's showing tendencies this early, then he's definitely... Uh... <laughs> and he can speak parcel tongue, which is... Uh... <laughs> Well, that's very rare. This yeah, yeah, it's frightening. <laughs> uh, anyway, I suppose uh, we're out of time. <laughs> well, nobody called you. Oh, I didn't get a phone call. No. Oh, hang on. I think this may be for you. Who were you expecting to call? My mum, maybe. Oh, okay, sure. hey, yeah. His mum, an English woman. <coughs> Hello. Hello, dear. How are you? <laughs> I was uh, just watching the programme, and um, I'm very upset about the comments made by Mr. Ferguson regarding the tea. <laughs> You're wrong, Mrs. Felton. No, you are wrong. I will find you. I will hunt you down like the dog that you are. <laughs> You, Mrs. Felton. How dare you talk How to me like that? you? In front of my son, you have insulted me. You have insulted my family. Good day, sir. Click. <laughs> oh, wow. Your mom's wow. fiery. Wow. What can I say? She doesn't... She doesn't mince her words. She doesn't. No. Well, that was very pleasant. <laughs> but we are out of time. Well, maybe next time you'll get a chance to see a, a slightly warmer side of her. Because I know she was... She might, uh, she might call back and be nice. Probably not. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, hello? I just wanted to apologise before you go to commercial. I'm sorry for everything that I said. Good day. <laughs> so, so what we're, well, the conclusion we can draw from this is that uh, Mrs. Felton, Tom's mum's a lovely woman and we were just having a bit of fun. Here, here. <laughs> <laughs>